Hey everybody, Brian Heiss from Olson Motorsports here again with a quick little video on some JRZ stuff. Here we have the RS Pro canister, very tried and true design. People get a lot of questions about how it works, what to do with it, how to use it, what's going on inside, and frankly, you know, some questions about how come it works so well and how's that happen? So, the design of the thing is actually pretty simple even if a little bit uh, ingenious. What happens is you have your remote reservoir here. The oil comes in through a hose into this fitting, which we have blocked off for demonstration. It goes in here, and it flows out down into the uh, bottom of the tube here through a set of valving. The set of valving looks like this, and very simply, the oil comes in in between this little steel axle here and this little aluminum piston goes in there and it presses against this washer valve. This washer valve presses down against these springs and lets the oil out. So in order for that oil to move the valve against those springs, we have to build up some pressure, relieve the preload caused by the springs, and the oil flows out. You adjust by turning it in these threads right here, moving this housing here, increasing the preload on the spring, so the more you turn your knob, the more you increase the spring preload, the more resistance there is to valving. So, theoretically, what will end up happening is that even at the very slightest movement, which is the intent of the design, the damper resists movement. There's instant resistance straight away, which a lot of people would consider to be a little bit too stiff and might postulate that it think, you know, it would feel difficult to move, feel stiff, not create a lot of grip, when in fact the opposite's quite true. So that is due to an effect in the damper that is caused by a uh, phenomenon called hysteresis. People can get a little bit uncomfortable with the term, and in fact it can be detrimental to performance in some areas, but you have to know when to use it and why. In this area, it allows us to have a pretty stiff valving and a pretty responsive valving without being very rough at the higher frequencies, which is why you get a lot of great feeling out of a JRZ for chassis control, but it's still quite compliant and absorbs the actual bumps. Now, when the oil comes in, as we saw, it opens this valve, and when it goes back out, what we want to do is have a very easy path. So on the way out, it goes through these holes, opens up this little shim right here, off of there, which is only preloaded by this very light spring right here. And putting it all together, we have all of that go in. We have our little retainer. And this is not the exact assembly process, but we are simply demonstrating. So here's your assembled canister valving. And you put this into the bottom. And as you turn it, It'll start to tighten in. And now we can adjust our valving. And when we're done, we cinch the knob on there and attach it with that little set screw. And that is how an RS Pro canister works. Thanks for watching. 